Yes, yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm, I've always sort of dealt with body image issues and things like that, but there was a particular thing that... Hello friends, today in this video I'll talk about a new um, library or model which uh, got released and it is developed by uh, AIB Lab which is part of Alibaba group and you can use this uh, model to kind of uh, make anything talk like any character talk uh, like a talking avatar so it is kind of like a input image uh, to video model so you have to provide one input image and a audio and it will generate a video it is not a video to video model so you have to keep that in mind and they have already provided the models here and this fantasy talking model this one it is uh, if you are developing i mean uh, running the workflow on comfy ui uh, you may not be able to use this uh, model you have to use the uh, model which is uploaded by kj so the precision you have to you know keep it compatible with the other model so this model uh, it is uh, dependent on ion model and there is a web to vector model which is uh, coming which is from facebook so this two model you have to use and this is the workflow so you can get the workflow from kj's uh, hugging first uh, hugging fish repo so if you just see uh, inside example workflow you will get to see the fantasy talking example so i am using the same workflow and if you want to take a look at the code for the fantasy talking custom node uh, you can see it here uh, it is kept separately so uh, this is the one this folder and to download the models uh, you can you know uh, uh, go to kj's uh, repo hugging face repo and there you will see the fantasy talking uh, model which is uh, you know retrained on fp16 um, by kj and he has uploaded here so you have to use this model if you are using his workflow and the ion model or the va if you see on the workflow i'll just uh, open the workflow here so i can see here uh, all these settings you have to keep as it is and here you will uh, give your uh, input image path or you can use the load image uh, node also and you can you know load the image using load image and there is a audio load audio node here you can upload the audio so i am uh, generating a video using this uh, six second audio and here to you know use the models you can see it is using when i2v model so i am using the for, uh, 720 pixel 14 billion because i used the 3 billion model and the output was kind of little you know degraded so output was not of better quality so if you use the 14 billion model the you will get better output and i see there is a vie fp32 uh, version of vie is being used here and this uh, facebook uh, this uh, web to vector model you don't have to download it will auto downloaded and this fantasy talking you will keep it inside diffusion model folder and there is a text uh, encoder model is being used EM, umt xsl encode vf16 version and here i see you have to download the uh, clip vision model as well so difficult part to run the workflow is to download the models uh, like you have to download it from multiple places and uh, if you don't you know keep in mind the precision uh, like the fp16 or fp32 so you will you know uh, get into like you will face lots of problem issues and to fix that uh, it will take uh, lots of time so what i have done is like i have you know uh, gathered all the terminal terminal command to kind of download all the models so you just have to you know uh, this is a kind of hugging face cli uh, command uh, this uh, i am using and to use this cli command you have to you know install this to uh, library pip install uh, this uh, hugging face hub 
and hf transfer so why i am uh, using this too because it will speed up your download and if you use your, your hugging face token here it will you know even make the download faster so you can use that to kind of download all the models at one shot kind of like you can copy it everything and just paste it on your terminal and make sure uh, you are into the workspace folder the uh, you have to be on the workspace folder to you know download onto the correct uh, path uh, because uh, the path here is given a relative path so if you are into workspace folder then only uh, then it goes to uh, right path or if you are into windows uh, you can you know uh, construct this uh, path as per your installation so I'll, I'll place this uh, give this text file uh, with all this terminal command on my video de description and here I see like uh, all the settings everything is as it is like there is no need to change anything everything is properly configured only thing I see like uh, if you uh, uh, if, if your audio speed is slow or if your audio speed is little faster so in that case kind of like you have to you know change the fps value uh, by default it was 25 and if you change it like if it is uh, slow audio is slow you can change it to little bit uh, uh, you, you can reduce it a little bit like uh, keep it 23 or something below that or if it is faster then you can increase the fps value but you have to test it kind of like test and see the lip sync if it is proper like if it is syncing with the input audio otherwise make your changes uh, really? and i have already generated one output magnesium here magnesium oxide can see. but it always upsets my stomach oh really which one are you using i tried magnesium oxide but it always upsets my so the output is uh, using. very good quality and uh, you can see like it's uh, and there Which is no uh, distortion or anything it's kind of it is very difficult to uh, realize like it is uh, ai generated and and if i want to show you the you know the capability of this model i have to kind of show you another video like where uh, it's uh, uh, kind of like uh, you know uh, generating the hand movement or the neck movement very accurately based on the input images uh, based on the audio the input audio so I, I don't have this uh, that video right now opened so i can attach this uh, that video uh, on this uh, at the description or i can you know attach it on the this video at the end so i am using this uh, gpu a6048 gigabyte gpu and you can see uh, it is at max using 38% of VRAM and it, it is a little slow to be honest the A6000 is a little slow to process uh, but uh, this is the cheapest one so the I most of the time use this one and you can see the time for a uh, 5 second video it is almost taking lots of time like uh, 10 12 minutes I guess uh, or 15 minutes maybe so it, it is taking lots of time but the output quality is really uh, commendable uh, I, I have used Sonic uh, or the lip sync, other lip sync uh, AI models. So those are kind of like uh, not able to generate this kind of uh, accurate output. And if you see the another video that has complete like hand movement, neck movement and everything, complete body movement. And you just have to like uh, to get a better output which uh, adhere to your input images. You have to, you know, uh, give a proper uh, prompt here like you just have to you know explain like what kind of movement like if you want to add hand movement you, you, you will you know just add some uh, text uh, change this prompt to add you know uh, hand movement or neck movement or any other body part movement so you can you know uh, explain it like uh, how you want it to be so uh, and one more thing is like if you are facing issue to uh, run this workflow on your a6000 model so a6000 has a different CUDA architecture type and for that you have to you know change the uh, base uh, the what was that this is the quantization value you have to change it to fp8 e5m2 otherwise you will get error and you have to install the sage attention library 
so that's it for this uh, workflow to run on your comp UI and uh, for the uh, Kijay's uh, custom node uh, maybe Kijay has not you know updated the custom node onto comp UI registry so th for that reason like you have to manually kind of uh, install the custom nodes from your terminal so for that you will you know cd into your custom node folder and just uh, get clone the kj's repo and pip install the requirements.txt file that's it uh, it will then restart your comp ui and it will work so there is nothing much on this uh, library to talk about it's uh, that's it uh, for this video and uh, you can make few other changes also like you can uh, I don't see any place to add LoRa here, but uh, I, I guess for this use case there is no uh, role of adding LoRa. Like, but but uh, if there is a any specific LoRa for you for your use case, you you know have trained uh, for AI talking avatar, you can add it here and you can get the get to see the result like how it is performing. So that's it for the video. I will add the workflow and the terminal comments on my video description. Thank you guys. Bye bye.